Hi, and welcome to This Week in the Highlands. I'm Jed. And I'm Steve. There's so much on this weekend. I got Steve in on the video as well. And we also want to give a great shout out to our new sponsor. Yeah, we do. Southern Highlands Taxis and Limousines. So welcome, Laurie, and thank you for joining us as a partner. Yeah. Now, we have the Southern Highlands Food and Wine Festival here in Corbett Gardens over the weekend. What are the details? Great weekend to be in the Southern Highlands for both locals and also for visitors to the area. The fifth Southern Highlands Food and Wine Festival in the gorgeous backdrop of Corbett Gardens with all the tulips still in bloom right through to this weekend. We've had a huge week of uh, tulip time, now concluded, now we go into all things food and wine. So this Saturday and Sunday from 10 o'clock through to 4 o'clock, the, garden, the gardens are open to the festival. So entry to the Food and Wine Festival, $15 an adult, and with that $15 you actually get a beautiful glass to actually go around and sample some of the great wines of the Southern Highlands and also surrounding regions. You go online and you can actually pre-purchase your ticket at $12, so that's a great saving. Children under 17, free to come on in. Great attraction actually this weekend with a celebrity in Paul West from the River Cottage. Uh, cooking demonstrations, you can meet Paul and uh, he's a great fella if you haven't been watching uh, the Lifestyle Channel. Uh, somebody that you should come and meet here in uh, the Food and Wine Festival. He's also going to do some book signing and also our local radio station 2ST. Uh, Angela's going to be there comparing live broadcast on the Saturday from Corbett Gardens. So make sure you get in there and say good day to Angela. And there's lots of other entertainment right throughout mm. the weekend. Yeah, plenty, plenty going on in there. Um, so it's going to be a great festival, so we wish them all the best of luck. Now, there's lots of other things over the weekend, of course. We have the regular markets, so Saturday will be Exeter and Colover, and Sunday will be the Bundanoon markets as well. Uh, the Bundaburrick Hay Runners. Now, the gala dinner on Saturday night is already sold out, which is a fantastic effort of this team, but they are always looking for more donations. So if you want any more information on these great guys that take their trucks full of hay to go and help the other farmers. Um, Jacob's the local here and I can put you in touch with, with, with them. We also have some fantastic Highland Farm tours starting over the weekend as well. Well, they were over the school holidays as well, but Karen and her team there at Highland Farm, they're doing the great family farm tours out there. We have plenty of beautiful private gardens going on. Now, aside from the Food and Wine Festival, we have some other great entertainment across the Highlands as well. The Glass Cafe has an event on Saturday night. And of course, Joadja, um, our oldest vineyard here, they are having the long weekend event on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. Some live jazz in the vine out there. What else do we have? The Exhibitions. Oh, oh, so God. much going oh, yeah. on. I'll tell you one that's really good and that's where I'll be at is actually the Southern Highlands Rugby Sevens. I think ah. it's now the actual fifth year. Started out with Tulip Time as an event a few years ago but it's a standalone signature event now Jen and if you're into rugby or anything sporting it's a great spectacle. 76 teams yep. playing Rugby Sevens and we know that we won gold medal in the Australian Women's Rugby in, in the Olympics yep. recently. And there will be some Olympians there actually from the men's rugby sevens will be there in town. So make sure you get yourself along to Eridge Park, the home of the Barrel Blacks, and support our local teams that will be participating in this great event. We love bringing you the weekly clips. Check the website for more details or keep watching This Week in the Highlands.